My name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I'm just gonna give you some tips and tricks related to the Docker PS command that would not only help you to ease down your day to day uh, day to day work with the Docker uh, Docker containers but it will all it will also help you to debug or analyze the Docker related logs. So this video is specifically only for the Docker PS command and the upcoming videos I will be creating for the Docker logs with the Docker inspect because these are the three commands which are very heavily used when it comes to analyze the docker containers error or the resource consumption so let's quickly jump into the demo part and see what all options uh, I'm, I, I have uh, for you to just uh, uh, to, 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 to use in the real-time example so let's quickly so this is my machine on which I have bunch of you know that we all know the docker ps right so when we hit the docker ps we can see all the active containers right and if I just put the docker ps minus a then we can see all the containers uh, which has been run so far right so we can see the container which are in an exited state as well right but when we hit the docker ps command what happens is if your machine size is very small and if you just put the docker ps you can see some uh, you know uh, because since you know it is always through those six seven columns to container id image command and all those stuff that's the, the reason you are not able to see in a very uh, beautified way like i mean in a one row you have all the columns right so and uh, most of the time we are not very interested in just showing seeing all those commands so there are few commands which we always wanted to see so how can we just control that what all commands we want to see so for that docker provides uh, so let me just quickly clear that uh, so Docker provide us a Docker PS, uh, then the format option, and to just control the how many container, how many columns we want is we have an option table. Then we have to give double curly braces. This is Go template concept. Uh, so let's say I want names, and I want the tab tab separated between the columns. Uh, tab separation. Then I want this. Let's say uh, what else I want. Uh, I need names and I need image, and then let's say uh, I want us okay and don't forget to put this dot okay and then let's say uh, what I want let's say I want uh, uh, names image uh, let's say container ID uh, so let's uh, dot ID and what happens let's see okay so now we are seeing only for those four columns right so this is just a temporary fix if you really want to make this permanent you can just always go to the dot docker folder where your config.json uh, stored uh, and you can always put over there and then it, it would be uh, it would be safe for forever until or unless you make the changes back to the config json to the default one right so that is how you can have these uh, four columns now this is not very uh, useful in just analyzing the log it is just to make your life easy uh, to just see what all options what all uh, column you want to see now there are a few options which are very important and earlier when those were not supported in the docker it was very tough to get those kind of information you have to use a lot of unix command to just get that information the interesting one is the good one is the docker ps if i want to see the very latest container let's say you have a lot of containers almost on a daily basis you are running a lot of container you want to see which one is the latest one you can always see the time stamp but let's say you want to just quickly see that the latest one without just seeing the time and at what time it gets created you can use this latest it will tell you there which one is the latest container which was running in your machine and it's not active maybe it's just completed right so docker ps latest uh, will give you the uh, latest one and let's say i want to see the last five containers right so what i have to do is i have to use the last and then i can give some numbers let's say four containers i want to see and this will list down you know the four and you can see that you know uh, the docker ps format command uh, the moment i just use the second time the docker ps it's not uh, it is again showing the default number of columns because if you want that that setting to be permanent then you have to put that energy in the docker config file okay uh, so the another interesting uh, options uh, which we have uh, a filter one and that is the one which I use very heavily uh, this one is the uh, filter and this filter has a lot of fields on which you can put a filter for example if I want to put a filter on name uh, let's say I want to just see all the containers which has a container name database so database is going to be work as a substring and this would give me all the containers which has database in it uh, so uh, let me just uh, bring that format again and uh, no uh, so again I want to filter it down. Uh, I haven't used you know format and filter, uh, but this this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, so let me just cancel that so that you guys can see the complete command. 
so I'm just gonna use this filter uh, so filter uh, let's say name and I want to give the any uh, substring uh, which I wanted to look for the containers so let's say I want to see all the containers which has database okay so you can see on my screen all the containers which are having a database in, in the name uh, that is being reflected for example I want to see all the filter all the container uh, and I want to put a filter on its status let's see I want to see all the stopped container or let's say I want to see how many has been exited so there are these containers which are in an exited state and let's say I want to see how many are in a paused so we have only one container in a paused state right and let's say uh, I just want to start this container again back oh I have to use an pause Uh, so I think this time we will not get uh, anything in the pause one yeah so it's fine uh, let's say if I want to stop some container uh, okay and if I use this say let me just cancel this and put this clear and bring that command back and this time I want to see the stop one and and, and this filter is uh, invalid filter uh, so i think uh, for uh, stopped uh, do we have anything uh, uh, let's let's quickly see i mean uh, what's the status of being shown for the step uh, stopped container uh, so if i just put the ps message let's see I mean, is there any uh, container uh, which is in a different state uh, uh, one of the containers in a stopped state uh, so uh, so let's see I mean what all uh, options we have we have paused we have exited I think for stopped I think we should be uh, seeing that and I exited uh, yeah. uh, so let's quickly verify uh, which one we have stopped we have stopped that 7 DC uh, are we getting this 7 DC yeah it's 48 seconds so um, uh, let me just cancel that and bring that so stopped is not the status I think exited is the states the status so I think we can see this been stopped so far right uh, so there are other uh, other filter status like paused exited then we have dead we have removing we have restarting as well right so you can always go to the documentation see what all options uh, what all values can be there for the status so this is status and name and similarly uh, there are you know uh, through images you can search you know uh, you can go to the documentation there are plenty of columns which you can utilize but I think most of the time uh, if, if it comes to the log analysis you will be using mostly the status one right uh, now the another one is very interesting one and that is also very handy uh, the uh, the other one is uh, let's say uh, I want to put uh, let's say uh, uh, you have to use minus f and you want to see how many container has been uh, created before one specific container so for example i want to see before this container how many container was there right so i have to use this minus f then before equals to oh, not the container id because container id doesn't seems to be supported now but you can use the name so i have to use name of the container and that would give me okay these were the container before that container the other options uh, which docker sub docker provide us is since since means how many container has been created after that right so uh, so this seems to be the latest one and I, I can give the you know the another container that would give you know the more container uh, for example uh, let's say if i just pick this one and the name of this is So uh, before and since, before means it's very self-explanatory. If you want to see the container before any particular container, you will get all the list that how many container was already there before that. Since is from that particular point, how many container has been created in, for that particular container. So I think these are the options. These are really handy when it comes to, you know, uh, analyzing any log or you want to uh, figure out, you know, the, some uh, interesting uh, behavior which is happening and which is actually causing some kind of problem for your environment. The another one is very important one. Uh, uh, that is related to the size uh, so that is really handy uh, if you put this oh sorry uh, it should be size it will give you the size of a file associated with the container right uh, so let me just decrease the size okay uh, no it's not coming okay uh, it's coming but since my screen is too short uh, too small uh, so I think I can do one thing I can quickly bring this one yeah yep yep uh, so what I can do is Use. 
Now you can see the size of the file associated with the container. So these